Hi guys, this week I asked everyone that follows me on Facebook what they'd like to see and they all decided on a leopard so that's what I'm going to do for you today and I hope you like it. Okay so the first colour we're going to take is a bright yellow and we're going to apply this all over the top half of the face. You do want to make sure that you leave the eyelids free and also the top lip area and the lower jaw as well and just keep building the colour until it looks nice and solid. Around the outside edge of the face I'm just going to blend in a bright orange colour. Um, I'm not too worried about how neat it is, I just want to make it look a little bit darker around the edges. And I'm also going to take some of this orange underneath the uh, lower half of the nose as well. An optional step with the base is to add a little bit of light brown on top of the orange like I'm doing and that just tones it down a bit. I apply a white paint over the whole eyelid area, um, I do it on both sides and then go back and really extend the white outwards and blend it into the yellow. And then still with the white I apply some um, in the area above the top lip and just below the nose and that will create the leopard muzzle. Next I take a stencil and I use the same light brown that I used before and very carefully placing the stencil in a downwards direction on the forehead I just add in some leopard spots. Now this is the very first time I've used a stencil and I really like it. I think that I'll probably be using these in more of my designs just because it was so easy and the effect was really cool as well. I use the same stencil to add a few more leopard spots on the cheeks and this time they are pointing upwards towards the top area of the nose and then because I had a few gaps I just went in and added a few around the um, outside edge of the eyes but very very lightly. Um, I didn't add any more paint I just used what was already left on my sponge. To make the markings stand out a bit more I took a black paint on a brush and I gave some of the spots a bit of an outline. Um, you don't want to make the outline too solid and too perfect. I just laid my brush down, wiggled it around a bit and made a basic circle shape. You don't need to worry about outlining every single shape that was left by the stencil. Um, just pick a few of the main ones. But what you do need to make sure of is that your outlines are of different sizes. So make sure you've got some big spots, some little spots, and even put in a few dots around them as well. When I felt like there were enough of the main markings on the forehead and the cheeks, I added a few C-shaped markings around the face and I made sure that they were all flicking in towards the top of the nose. Next you want to paint a thin line which starts right on the inside corner of the eye and flicks out through the eyebrow. You may need to go and retouch up where the paint goes through the actual hairs of the brow uh, just to make it nice and smooth. Paint a little leopard nose right on the underside of yours and make sure that the edges are rounded out and then once the nose is finished you want to extend a line down and split the top lip. You need to give the outside of the muzzle shape an outline as well, so again with the black, just paint around the white area and connect it to the top lip. I paint a few little dots on the outside corners of the muzzle and I just make sure that they're all different sizes. Um, I'm not going to add whiskers to this design but you can if you want, um, if you do I'd probably recommend using white. 
The last step, which is completely optional, is to paint over the eyelid with a black flick. Now, if I was doing this on a child at an event, I wouldn't paint so close to the eyelashes because it's gonna be a real pain for the parents to get off. Um, but because I'm doing it on myself, I can go right down um, and fill in all the space in between the eyelashes. Just put my hair down because I think it looks a bit better messy with this face. So, there you have one of the many ways in which you can paint a leopard. I hope you like this design and thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see um, more videos. I think the next thing that we've got coming up is a pirate. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you want to uh, keep up to date with what I'm doing, then you can follow me on Facebook and I also have Twitter and Instagram as well. And I'll link everything in the description down below. And I will see you next time. Bye.